welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time so today i'm doing something a little different i'm not actually going to be doing my hair on camera for you guys i am going to be telling you about my natural hair journey i've been getting um a lot of questions actually over the few past years about like when i went natural um how did i go natural did i do the big chop did i transition um, what did I do to get my hair to grow, to get my curls, all that. So I'm going to be answering all those questions in this video. So if you're interested in that, just stay tuned. All right, you guys. So we are going to throw it way back. Okay, wait. Well, not that far back. But you see my hair. It was cute, okay? But no, we're going to jump back to 2012 when I first went natural. Um, and so... I feel like that was before like natural hair. I don't want to say became a thing, but you know what I mean? Like now there's people like me making videos. There's all these different variety of natural hair products. I don't remember all that being around in 2012 when I went natural. Um, the reason I went natural is I had a family member in my hometown who had started doing natural hair. She said it would help my hair grow and it would be better for my hair. So that is why and when I went natural in 2012. Now, I did not do the Big Chop. I know Big Chop is very popular. Your girl was not about to cut all her hair off, like period. I wasn't doing it. So I um, decided to transition. So I wanna talk to you guys about how I transitioned, what I did, and then also probably give you some tips if you're in the process of transitioning your hair from relaxed to natural in the first place. So. Like I said, I stopped getting relaxers in 2012. I uh, straightened my hair. That's how I transitioned. Let me just start with that because I'm going to be real on here. I did not just like decide I'm going to go natural and then boom, put the flat iron down and then boom, curls. And I think that's what a lot of people don't realize. They see my curls right now and they're like, okay, what can I do? in two weeks to get my curls to look like that. And it's like, sis, you know, this is a process. This is a process. So I straightened my hair. Um, like I said, I went natural in 2012. It wasn't until probably about 2014, 2015, when I started doing natural hairstyles on my hair and starting to put the heat down. Now, I'm not saying I recommend straightening your hair throughout the transitioning process, but that is what I did. Um, straightening your hair, yeah, you're not getting relaxers anymore, but you are definitely opening yourself up and making yourself susceptible, susceptible, what is that word? Susceptible. Mm -hmm. You're making yourself susceptible to heat damage, which I did have. And I still am dealing with remnants um, of heat damage, I feel like, in some places. So it is definitely, I know nobody ever says that. Nobody ever says, well, you can, you know, here's the twist outs and the braid outs and the big chop. Well, I straightened my hair um, now let's move on to when i actually started dibbling and dabbling into natural hairstyles so if you're transitioning and like i said i don't really recommend doing the flat iron so what should you do instead i started doing twist outs and this right here is probably one of the first twist outs i did on my hair and <laughs> as you can see my ends are straight like straight straight there's no curl there's no nothing um but i think this give gave me more of a wave so i definitely think twist outs are a great place to start i know your hair is not going to be curly so to say you may have more of a beach wave and i don't think i have a picture of this but i did actually put um, you can put like rollers or I did, I used bobby pins y'all don't use bobby pins But you can put rollers on the end so twist your hair up put rollers on the end so that you get sort of a curl um, On your ends and that's a great style to do when transitioning also braid outs so I started with the twist outs and once my hair started to kind of be like, okay, no more heat. I can kind of curl up. I did jump to braid outs, which also gave me more of a wavy look as you can see. But um, I feel like my braid outs lasted a little bit longer than my twist outs. And it also was a style that I used to kind of help me put that flat iron down. Now, 
I did not still put the flat iron down, y'all. I um, started doing what I called natural summers. So during those years, I was in college. And I didn't want to wear my natural hair in college. That's a whole nother video for a whole nother day because I just didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel like any, I didn't feel like I would be pretty unless my hair was straight. And so in college, the seven, eight months that you're in college, I was pretty much straightening my hair. At this point, I was all the way natural, um, but I was not wearing my curls for eight, nine months of the year. But natural summers were what I did. So when I went home for the summer, I would put the flat iron down until I went back to school. Um, and I will say this was what kind of got me over the hump. My hair while I was transitioning, I didn't really see it growing much because I was flat ironing it so much probably and I had so much heat damage and breakage. But once I put the flat iron down um, in the summers, and here's some pictures of what I would do in natural summers, I would do a lot of buns um, because twist outs and braid outs, they were um, a lot to upkeep. So I did do a lot of buns. And so here are the differences. I think this is 2012 and then this one is 2015. 15 or 2014 y'all I play college basketball so headshots these are probably the best ones to show you but you can see the difference in the length of my hair um because I started doing those natural summers but if you're somebody who's you know trying to transition trying to put the flat iron down trying to maybe get your hair to grow and you're new to this natural thing I would definitely recommend like taking a chunk of time and saying okay for the next three months I'm either going to I'm gonna put the flat iron down maybe do a protective style for some time I will say I did no protective styling during my transitioning process the first time I got a protective style was last year in 2020 so I can't speak to protective styling during transitioning I think that may also be a way um, but I'm not gonna talk about that because that's not what I did we we're gonna talk about what I did um, so natural summers big portion of it another thing that I did during this time during my natural summer time was probably what you're doing is watch people on YouTube um, I went and found people like the glam twins who were uh, pretty the only, pretty much the only people I watched up until um, I created my channel um, and just trying to see what other people did using um, finding products that are better for your hair those are some of the things I started to do between um, 2014 2015 and 2019 um, which just kind of find people who are knowledgeable about this stuff and just try products and so that's why I make a lot of product review um, videos and just kind of show you guys the products that I use and why I like them because that is some of the stuff uh, that helped me when I was trying to really commit to uh, this natural thing speaking of committing to this natural thing so I went from natural summers which were about three months out of the year to straightening my hair pretty much for big events or for vacation so it went from about three months out of the year to probably seven or eight months out of the year wearing my natural hair and over time of course my braid out started to look better i'll put some pictures up here my twist out started to look a little better um because I was getting away from the heat. I will tell you this, once I started putting that flat iron down more consistently, that is when I started to see my natural hair look better. You know, when I was jumping back and forth between flat iron straight, I mean, flat iron natural, flat iron natural, I could never get my natural to look like I wanted. Well, that was because I was just straightening them curls out over and over again. So one thing I will say is once I committed to putting the flat iron down for long periods of time, that's when my natural hair kind of started to flourish. And I actually started trying some wash and goes around 2018. Now, mind you, I told you, I started transitioning in 2012. I did not start doing wash and goes until 2018. That is six years. My wash and goes started to look better the less I used my flat iron. Um, so we are gonna jump to 2019. So in 2019, I made a decision. I was like, okay, 
I am going to put the flat iron down for good. Now, I will tell you my reasoning for doing this was one, because I was tired of feeling like I always had to straighten my hair to go to an event or, you know, to feel pretty, to do all those things. And also because I realized that during natural, natural summers, my hair grew tremendously. Like I'll put some pictures here, I'll show you guys. Um, 2014 what my hair looked like and then I did a natural summer and came back in 2015 and then another natural summer in 2016 so I was starting to see the progression of my hair growing and I'm like you know what if I can put my flat iron down for an entire year my hair is going to grow like my hair is going to be bra strap length okay so that was my motive in 2019 for putting the flat iron down um and i did i went all of 2019 no protective styles no straightening my hair just me and my natural hair learning it loving it figuring out what worked for it um, figuring out what did not work for it and then in july of 2019 i started this channel and so after those seven months of watching videos and trying products and deciding and making a commitment and saying okay i am going to learn my hair because i am not going to use a flat iron as my crutch all the time although i went in with the motive of seeing my hair grow i started like i said to love my curls like i really did like i had gotten into products and I had gotten a curl box and I had just started really like experimenting and starting to see my curls come through and then I wanted to improve and then I wanted to be able to do a wash and go and 2020 um you guys can watch my channel that is when I started doing more wash and goes more reviews um and just kind of leaning into my natural hair and so now um what is it it's may i haven't straightened my hair since october of 2020 um, i still do straighten my hair every now and then i went all of, i went from 2019 to 2020 i think in 2020 i may have straightened my hair two or three times I think it may have been just two and then this year in 2021 i haven't straightened it yet and again i may straighten my hair but i've gotten to a point where um I love my wash and goes. I love my twist outs. I love my curls, right? Like experimenting, finding new products, seeing what works, trying out color waxes, all that kind of stuff is kind of how I got to where I am now. And I wanted to make this video because from 2012 to 2021 is a long time and it is a process, but um, it was worth it. And I get so many compliments on my hair now and people are like, oh my goodness, I love your hair. What did you do? And I'm like, how long do you have? Right? Like, do you want to sit down? Because sis, this is a story. I just wanted to make this video for anybody who um, had questions or didn't know or wanted to hear from somebody else who um, had transitioned and had kind of gotten to a point where they can do wash and goes. So let me know. Um, use the comment section as just a place kind of to tell your natural hair story. Tell me your journey when you went natural, what you did. Um, and placing that those things in the comments may be able to help other people who are coming on this video. Um, wondering the same thing so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like i said drop your journeys in the comments respond to people help each other out and if you're not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button it's totally free and it helps your girl out um so yeah i will see y'all in my next video bye